Rahman Rahim, Assalamu Alaikum and welcome to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Foreign Minister of the Islamic Republic of Iran, Sayyid Abbas Araghachi, visited Pakistan from 4th to 5th of November. During his two-day visit, he held meetings with the Prime Minister of Pakistan and Deputy Prime Minister and Foreign Minister, Senator Mohammad Ishaq Dar. The two sides agreed to a strengthened regular high-level exchanges, advanced cooperation and dialogue on trade, energy and security, and enhanced border management and people-to-people -people contacts. The Prime Minister of Pakistan condemned Israel's uh, October 26th attack on Iran and reaffirmed Pakistan's support for Iran's sovereignty and territorial integrity. The two sides also discussed the situation in the Middle East and the ongoing genocide in Gaza. They reaffirmed support for the right to self-determination of the Palestinian people and for an immediate ceasefire, unhindered humanitarian assistance, and the creation of a Palestinian state with Al-Quds al-Sharif as its capital. We welcome the latest report of the UN Special Rapporteur on Palestine, Francesca Albanese, calling out Israel for pushing through a systematic agenda of forced displacement, annihilation, and genocide in Gaza and the West Bank. The report highlights how Israel has been committing genocide against the Palestinian people through acts of territorial expansion and ethnic cleansing. Pakistan endorses Ms. Albany's st stance that Israel is obstructing international investigation efforts, including denying the entry of fact-finding teams from the United Nations. We support her call on the international community in acting decisively in bringing an end to Israel's unbridled atrocities against the Palestinians and to ensure unhindered humanitarian assistance to Gaza and full financing and protection of UNRWA. Pakistan is also concerned about Israeli action against the relief workers and agencies, including UNRWA, and its continuous war on hospitals and vaccination centers. After destroying the health infrastructure in Gaza, Israeli occupation forces are now targeting hospitals in Lebanon. So far, 34 hospitals have been damaged, 111 emergency medical technicians have been killed, and 107 ambulances have been targeted in Lebanon. Such attacks on the humanitarian structures, agencies, and actors in Palestine and Lebanon prevents people from seeking urgent medical care while creating long-term health risks for millions, including children. Pakistan therefore calls for an immediate cessation of hostilities in Gaza, Palestine, and Lebanon. Protection of civilians and civilian infrastructure and unhindered humanitarian access and health care to those in urgent need. We are also concerned about the reports of deteriorating health of Kashmiri leader Muhammad Yasin Malik as he observes a hunger strike in protest for the poor conditions and insufficient medical care in New Delhi's Tehar jail. After being framed in fictitious cases, Mr. Malik remains incarcerated for the last several years and is facing a death sentence. We urge the Indian authorities to provide quality medical care to Mr. Malik and immediately release him. Pakistan will continue to extend political, diplomatic, and moral support to our Kashmiri brothers and sisters for the just and peaceful settlement of the Jammu and Kashmir dispute in accordance with the UN Security Council resolutions. Now, announcements. Prime Minister Mohammad Shahbaz Sharif 
will visit the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia to participate in the second joint Arab Islamic summit being held in Riyadh on 11th of November. The summit is being convened at the initiative of the government of Saudi Arabia to discuss the situation in the Middle East. This will be a follow-up to the joint Arab Islamic Extraordinary Summit held on 11th of November, 2023 in Riyadh to discuss the situation in Gaza and other occupied territories. Heads of states and governments and senior officials from Arab League and OIC member countries are expected to participate in the summit. At the summit, the Prime Minister will reiterate Pakistan's full support to the Palestinian cause. He will call for an immediate end to the genocide in Gaza, an urgent and unconditional ceasefire, immediate, immediate secession of ongoing Israeli adventurism in the region that is endangering the security of the countries in the Middle East. Pakistan will also call for providing international protection for the Palestinian people and for the establishment of an independent state of Palestine on the borders of 4 June 1967 with Al-Quds al-Sharif as its capital. On the sidelines of the summit, the Prime Minister is expected to hold bilateral meetings with leaders from other Arab League and OIC member states. The Prime Minister of Pakistan will visit Baku, Azerbaijan to participate in the World Leaders Climate Action Summit taking place on 12th to 13th of November as part of the 29th UN Climate Change Conference. The Prime Minister will be accompanied by Deputy Prime Minister and Foreign Minister Senator Mohammad Ishaq Dar and other cabinet members and senior officials. At the summit, the Prime Minister will make a robust call for climate solidarity and climate justice based on the established principles of equity and common but differentiated responsibilities and respective capabilities. On the sidelines of the summit, the Prime Minister is also scheduled to hold bilateral meetings with participating world leaders. COP29 is taking place at a time when millions around the world, including in Pakistan, are facing severe adverse impacts of climate change. As an important stakeholder, Pakistan will continue to make positive contributions to the global climate debate, negotiations, and collective action. Thank you.